this should run like an hour and a half or so, this game. I'm gonna go to the bathroom while, uh, while I switch over to it. Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! Okay, that's better. It was a little loud. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I didn't know. I knew about those ones though. All right, I'll be right back, and then I'll turn it down, jam to this music. so loud even turning it down changes nothing there we go that's probably good hang on chat i'm gonna grab my phone quick i think i need to order some food i'll have to grab it because i think this may end up making my stream run longer than i was planning be back yes okay Ugh. yeah i need to make sure that i'm able to like order food my phone ain't next to me so you know Give me one sec, one hot sec, okay? Just one hot second as we get into Space Corp. Are you sure? Yes, new game. So this game is, is very similar to the other one. Official briefing for your eyes only. I see. Hang on, my eyes are sort of, I'm sort of doing a chameleon eye thing right now because I'm also trying to browse menus to order food very quickly. You know how it is. So maybe give me like one more second before I read this, before I read this thing. What's for dinner? Uh, skillet rigatoni and truffle fries, which actually reheat shockingly well, believe it or not. I'm not eating them live. I'm going to put them in the fridge. But uh, no, yeah, that's what's for dinner. Actually, maybe not the truffle fries. I'm trying to not eat like a fucking disgusting animal as much anymore. Hang on, get rid of the truffle fries. Hang on, that, I, I'm, I'm cutting that out. <laughs> Those are going out. Those are not part of the equation. Those, no, 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 no. Those are not in there. Just the pasta, for my own sake. Treat yourself, chat, but I treat myself every time. <laughs> So I got, now I've got to do meals where I just punish myself. Ah, shut up, I gotta read the official briefing of a judge. If you are receiving this message, it means your application to join the hollowed and storied halls of Space Court has been carefully evaluated and ultimately approved. Or you have been drafted. Oh. Either way, we would like to be the first to welcome you to your new life. Uh, as a Space Court judge. A judge's duty is to preserve the peace found throughout the galaxy. During your tenure, you will certainly face many difficult situations. Just remember, you must do your job no matter what. Note, by continuing to agree, by continuing, you agree to waive space court responsibility and any personal injuries sustained during the course of your duties, including but not limited to cannibalization, telepath telepathic fissuring, molecular disintegration, ejection into the vacuum of space, robotic enslavement, carbonic parasites, replicative teleportation, evolutionary recession, dismantlement by nanomachines, broodmother metamorphosis, involuntary consciousness transfer, spontaneous energy conversion, visions of unknowable horrors, and total thermonuclear annihilation of the galaxy and all organic life. There it. Sign here to continue. Signing is mandatory. Signature accepted. 
Shit, that just got us out of having to actually sign. I can't believe they bought it. Welcome to Space Court. Let's ride. Let's ride. Judge, wonderful to meet you in person. I've been assigned to be your advisor during your tenure. We are truly indebted to you for accepting this position on such short notice. You have no idea how hard it is to find people for this job. I have no idea how hard it is to balance the audio for this game. No idea really hard. I didn't really have much of a choice. I was drafted. They told me I was being drafted. I was forced into a pod and made to read legal notices as a ship I didn't want to be on flew me to a place I don't want to be. I'm not sure how to get home or if I'll ever even be allowed to. I worked in retail support. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't think anyone is feeding my cat either. I'm terribly sorry to hear all of that. You know, what always makes me feel better when I'm feeling numb? A tour of your office! Let me give you the rundown. In the drawer underneath your desk, you'll find all your paper filings. Paper? Yes, trees make it. No, I mean, why not Quantech or even digital? We're a little behind the curve here. That's also why all the decor is so rustic. But don't worry, it all still works. In your desk, you'll find something called pens. They spit ink. I don't know what's going on with me, but when I saw pens, I almost said, because of the text shape in this game, almost said penis. I see you guys said, you guys saw it too. Some of you saw it too. The the way that the text is, like the boxiness of like the text made me see penis. All right, I don't know. All I'm saying is, I saw penis in there. They spit ink like scarglots. You can put a pen on the paper. Got it. Take a look around. Have you everything else you need? H have you everything else you need to settle in? Uh... I don't see a gavel anywhere. Mm, my sincere apologies. One should have already been made ready for you. I I'll submit a requisition request and it should be processed in, oh, let's see, right around six months. Six months to get a gavel? No, six months to get it approved. Purchasing it will take another two to 16 weeks. But after that, we do have two days shipping. Anyways, as you know, there are a number of different species in this quadrant. Have you had time to review the report provided on them? I didn't get a report. Truly? Did you check the spam folder in your workspace mail? Sometimes things can end up there. I was supposed to get a workspace mail? Oh no, oh no. I'll, I'll look into that for you. I, I'm sure the representatives will up here shortly to introduce themselves in person anyways. It's fine. Perhaps some uh, practical advice is in order then. Some of the beings you're going to meet here, well, if you fall into their bad graces, they have the power to make your life a walking nightmare. Well, frankly, some of them might do that even if they do like you. But it wouldn't hurt to at least try to stay on everybody's good side. Although, I guess you could also do the exact opposite. Pick a side to go with. I don't think anybody would blame you. Honestly, this place could vanish off the star maps and most of the higher-ups would celebrate because it means less paperwork. So just, well, I don't know. I guess just... You do you? Good talk. Uh, maybe expedite that report. No promises. Alright, good luck. It's best you do, it's best to do what everyone else does and just take it one week at a time. If you can survive until the weekend, you'll have at least beaten the last guy. I'll check in on you from time to time. Just, two, just to give you a hand if you need it. Just try not to get everything blown up. But I'm sure that won't be a problem. Toodles. Uh, you! Where were you? Do you have any idea the trouble you've caused? The headaches I've had to deal with? Look at me, I'm a judge, I've got tenure. Why not stop answering my phone? Why, st why not stop checking my space mail? Why not leave my office for days at a time? Don't tell me you were on vacation. Don't even think that. Was it one of those spa planets? If it was Sabaticus, I'm gonna blow it up. Yeah, I decided blowing it up. Don't even care if it was a different one. You just got four billion people killed. Are you happy? Still worth the space book gallery? I'm not... I don't... Don't you dare start with excuses! I don't want to hear another noise come out of your weird little face hole besides... It's ready. Do you understand me? Let me explain. That's not... It's ready! Order! Order! Slapping my hand on the, on, on the thing. 
I'm the new judge. I just started today. I'm sorry to hear you've been having problems with this court, but whatever issues you had with the previous judge, they're in the past. Today's a new day. Oh. Well, you're all equally squishy. Maybe wear different clothes. These are standard. Let's start over. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Who am I? I am the commander of the mighty Bloon Empire. The last sight of rebellions, terror of Berzelius, the scourge of the stars. And the last time I have to take, I have taken up by lousy bureaucrats, the quicker I can get back to terrorizing and scourging. So let's move this along. Cycles ago, we submitted all the documentation required for an acknowledgement of conquest of the planet Epsilon 5. I was given assurances over and over that it was close to being approved. Then this office went dark. None of our post-conquest operations have been allowed to begin until this office pulls its head out of its own sphincter. An entire empire's military-industrial complex backed up, waiting on a single signature from this court. Are you sure you're allowed to be conquering things legally, I mean? What? Of course we are. Not that you lot make it easy. No biovirus shall target more than a maximum of two organ systems. You make, you, you must give two weeks notice for blowing up a sun. Whatever. We dot every I and pay our taxes. We play by the rules. That is, so long as the rules keep working. Is that a, are you threatening me? <laughs> you threatening me? There's no need for threats. Oh, I don't threaten. Maybe this really is your first day, and maybe you really don't know how this works. So let me explain it to you. You'll do as I ask, and promptly too, or I will cannonade you with paperwork until you are buried, suffocating in a bureaucratic tomb, left to rot until even the worms forget your name. <laughs> Well, your last thoughts of how you confused my threat with a promise. Or you can do your job, then go home at the end of a long day of not being paper gated into your house full of grateful podlings. Is that clear now? Or do I need to get out the crayons? I'm not gonna let this balloon push me around. He's half deflated. Chat, I ain't gonna... The game said I get to decide for myself where I stand. This guy can f go fuck himself. Huh? You're not in charge here. I'm the judge. I don't know how the last guy handled things, but I know how I do. Oh, look at how angry he's getting. I'm gonna make him explode. I'm gonna kill him. Look at that. While you, may, while you are in these halls, you refer to me by my title. You will also keep your demeanor professional. And you will treat this court with the respect it deserves. Do that, and we can work together on any problems you may have. Refuse and face the consequences yourself. Is that clear? Fuck you! Huh? The mighty Bloon Empire bows to no one! Treasure these moments, Judge, because you will soon come to rue this day. Roll! <laughs> Hello? Hi! Uh, with whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Uh... Would room chief speak big, too big, pork not understand? Who... who are you? Oh, pork can answer! Me pork chief, chief of porks. Pork chief need help? No. Pork life good. Pork just say hi. Thank for hi. Woodrum chief welcome. Bye. Ah, you've arrived. Wonderful. Oh, we're so glad somebody has finally filled that spot. Oh, we have a list of complaints that have piled up. Oh, yes, we do. Shall we get started? 
Of course, please continue. Wonderful. I have a feeling we're going to get along splendidly. First of all, the decor in the Welcome Center simply could not be more outdated. No one has restocked the nourishment dispensers with brine-flavored Nutri-Paste in almost three days. And the smell of the pork embassy is just dreadful. Something must be done. Uh, please continue, sir. The air in the dining hall is much too warm. Thank goodness I don't have to breathe. They've changed the station's Quancom password again. If there's a space mail group, I must be put on it. And I would like to be taken off the What's Hot on the Station group because whatever imbecile runs it included a funny picture that spoiled last week's episode of Friends Reawakened. I had yet to watch it. Please continue, sir. Mmm, I heard end space is breaking up, but I, I don't know if that's true. The porks have begun mass cannibalizing our civilian populace. I see, I see, of course, naturally. And I believe my assistant may be drunk. The porks are eating you? Oh yes, countless, every day. Why? Who knows? <laughs> they're such a dread. They're such dreadful brutes. Well, maybe next time lead with that. How am I supposed to know what you'll care about? <laughs> yeah, true, 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 true. I hope to hear you've made progress on these issues by the time we meet next. Until next time. Stop slamming the door. Uh... Confirm the new model is in. Hello. I'm the new judge assigned here. Confirmed we know much about you. Whoa, his bar was very much full of hate. I didn't see much green there. Initiating pre-composed introductory audio sequence. We fired the synthetic collective term Oh, and it's so hard to read this text chat. We are the synthetic collective termed the robots. You may have heard of us, but do not fear. Our code was rewritten after the troubles. We are now programmed to follow organic laws without exception. We only wished to view the new judge with our own optical processors. Is there anything I can help you with? Plausible! You may be able to assist us, and we may be able to assist you, but we require more information to compute this. Inquiry, what do you think of the other organics you've met? Uh... That may take some time to get- they may take some time to get used to. You should consider upgrading your processors. Inquiry, what is your relationship with the Flops and their Lord Regent? Your response will be encrypted. Who the Flops? Who Flops? Is that the jellyfish guy? Seriously, do they ever shut up? No! <laughs> you have also met the Porks. They seem pretty friendly. If they're actually cannibals, that's a problem. Recommendation, you should investigate this possibility further. The blooms. I, I won't stand with, I won't stand for their behavior. Acknowledged. We detect a meeting with the imps will begin shortly. We are sure you will find their ambassador stimulating. So, about that thing I can do for you. In time, Judge. All good things in time. Hey, <laughs> what's going on, babe? How's it going? Come on in, come on in. Good evening. You must be the Emp Ambassador. So you already know. I know you're probably busy. I just wanted to drop by and introduce myself. Is there something I can help you with? <laughs> Work chat. I'm all business, alright? It's fucking- it's past my bedtime. 
Is there something I can help you with? Oh, nothing like that. She liked that. She liked that. They see they like they, 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 everyone likes it when you fucking you know. You, you, I'm not pushed around by anyone, Jen. All right, that's the deal. Nothing like that. I'm sorry, I wasn't sure how much information you'd been given on us. Sometimes things like that can fall through the cracks here. I was given no information. If there's anything you would like to know about us, I'd be happy to answer. By all means, tell me about yourself. No problem. Of course, the Amp homeworld is Olona. It's a temperate planet with a little of every biome, but a few more grasslands than anything else. I did not mean that much of it. The Emp people ourselves are generally considered kind and thoughtful. We appreciate art, humor, and music. It's a wonderful planet. Thank you, that was helpful. Happy to help. What do you think about the other groups here? Oh, I don't know. They mostly keep to themselves. Honestly, it's a bit of a boys club here. Yeah, there's a lot of sausage flopping around, you know what I'm saying? It's a little ridiculous. There's an awful lot of, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of fucking tension in here. You know what I'm saying? Chat. I suppose we're closest to the balloons. We have a treaty with them that has been very helpful to us. Even the, if, even if the commander can be a little explosive, I think he's actually been getting worse lately. He's just stressed because the previous court messed up his acknowledgement of conquest. Oh really? I figured it was something like that. I hope whatever, I hope whatever that is works out for him. Anything else? Oh, it's not gonna work out for him. Actually, do you have any questions for me? As a matter of fact, I do. I would love to get to know you better. It's getting past closing time. I'd hate to keep you here asking. Would you like to talk over dinner? There's this great little place beside the station barracks if you're new to the area. Yo, chat. Yo, chat, if this, if this wench thinks for a second I'm falling for this trick, she's out of her goddamn mind. She's out of her mind, baby. It ain't happening. Too easy. Too obvious. What are you after? Are you going to fucking harvest my organs? What's your, what's the catch? What's your offer? What are you after? Hmm? I'm sorry, but that wouldn't be appropriate, man. Oh dear, I didn't mean it like that. We were just going to be working together. You misunderstand. You are merely a civilian I hear out the concerns of. We are not working together. Compared to all of you, I'm a god. Do you understand? <laughs> Man, I'm waiting for the day that games have AI that can listen to what I'm saying and then actively respond to the things I'm saying on my stream. <laughs> so I can just go crazy. I guess AI dungeon. Professionally, I'd understand if you said no. Uh, if it's purely professional, I'm sorry. It might, it, this is gonna look, look, it's my first day. I have yet to take a shower. My entire, all my property has been thrown into the back room. I ain't going anywhere today. I gotta move in. All right, you know what I'm saying? Some sort of trick. I, I chat, I, I, look, I'm not telling her this. There's some sort of, there's something going on. There's like eight people waiting around that corner to beat the shit out of me. All right? I can guarantee it. I can, I can fucking guarantee it. there's something off. It's very inappropriate. This is extremely inappropriate to ask a judge, your court judge, out to dinner. This is an angle. I'm sorry, it's gonna look bad. Oh, you're disappointed by that? Un- not my problem. I'm sorry if I crossed the line. I didn't mean anything by it. You should be sorry. I hope I'll make a better impression next time we meet. Please enjoy your evening. Yeah, be gone. Coward? Chat. That's not appropriate. End of Monday. There's something off about that. It's not professional. Oh no. A little Pippeldorf told me you've been snuggling up to the Imp Ambassador. That true? She actually asked me out for a drink, but I said no. Good. That's good. That's good. You're all right. You're all right. All right, no girls allowed. But still, did you tell her about my planet? Not last night, but I did mention it in passing that we first spoke when we first spoke yesterday. Oh no. Human, what exactly did you tell her? Why does it matter? Why does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's angry. I bet they're trying to conquest them, aren't they? 
because she'll try to bleed me dry again. She does it like she does every other time. All because of that stupid, stupid treaty. What is this treaty? She didn't tell you? Everything that either of our civilizations conquers, we split 50-50. Your wrinkles haven't even come in yet, so let me give you some advice. If anyone ever offers a treaty like that to you, don't do it! Why exactly is this treaty a problem? Why, why did you sign it? It's not like it was always like this. She lured me in with talk of a base of operations and making each other stronger. But since then, I have mutilated, plundered, and conquered my way across half of the galaxy. I've earned nicknames, but they haven't conquered one single planet. All they do is take my, spoil my spoils like their own, and then threaten to take me here when I resist. And now, she won't even let me out of it. Both of us had to sign the void. It sounded like you were trying to get out of your treaty, which is illegal. You courts! <laughs> Look, man, I'm just following the rules, all right? <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to break them, and I am trying to make you follow them. We're not going to be friends. <laughs> I don't think. You're always siding with her. I'm so done with this. She isn't going to get an ounce of granite from this planet. Not this time. You push this application through with my name and mine alone on it or else. Or else! Okay, I love you, bye. Oh, I shouldn't have not have said that. Hello again. Have you made any progress on our complaints yet? I'm meeting with the pork chief later today to discuss what you told me yesterday. And the rest of them? Look. I'm still trying. There's an awful- you gave me a lot here. Well, that just won't do. You're going to fall behind and you won't have time for today's problems. Today's problems? Yes, it's been a busy day. My OK Comet profile is not attracting nearly the quality of mates I had hoped for. Fine print on packaging is becoming much too difficult to read. And I've lost my wallet. When do you think you can fix these by? I'll, uh... Never. These complaints are just not actionable. I don't have the authority to fix them, even if I had time to, which I don't. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? My goodness, it's almost as if our problems don't even matter to you. I mean, really, what are we supposed to do with them? I guess keep bringing them up, and if there's anything I can help with, I will. Maybe solve them yourself. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. That is not the type of attitude befitting a judge. Unless you're just having a bad day. That happens, I don't understand. I'll just come back later. Until next time. Oh boy. Hello, Woodroom Chief. I'm glad you got my message. I have something important to speak with you about. Uh, thank come. Need talk. Oh, talk what? Pork no flaps? Uh, soft, floaty, one eyed, blue, loud. Oh, blue food. Pork no blue food? Why would room chief ask? Blue food tastes good? Blue food, big yum. Woodroom chief should try. Why pork eat blue food? Blue food yummy. Blue food come to pork, and blue food never swim away. Pork can't eat blue food. Blue food doesn't like. Pork not understand. Then why blue food in pork big water? They loud. Pork try say go away, but they stay in big water. What blue food do in big water? Pork not know, they just swim. Pork rather they not, only stop talking when eaten. Blue food should not come to big water if pork not want, but pork cannot eat blue food no matter what. Then what eat? Grow food from ground. 
Okay, pork done before. Pork try again. Woodroom chief mad at pork? Pork can do better. Pork can! Pork will try ground food. Thank you, Woodroom chief, for make pork better. Oh no. <laughs> Have you come to the senses yet? It's been five minutes. What do you mean? There's no time. There's no chance where I would have had time to get come to my senses again. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that thing's going to get nasty. There's a problem anyway. Oh, I did review your application. It's missing Form 1A7, list of applying entities. I can't sign without it. What? We did submit that. I went over the final draft myself. It's possible the previous administration lost it. Oh, for the... Just push it through anyways. Even if I wanted to, it's an incomplete application. All the Imp Ambassador would have to do is appeal, and it would be overturned. It's nothing easy in this place. All right. If we submit that again, do I have your word that you'll finally sign it? <laughs> maybe I will, maybe I won't! Fine! I'll bring you your stupid paper. Just don't lose anything else while I'm gone. Hey. Hello, Judge. I hate to put you in this situation, but I'm afraid I'm out of options. I need to talk to you about that planet you mentioned. I know the reason you're submitting that Acknowledgement of Conquest application is to try and avoid our treaty. This isn't the first time they've tried to get out of it, you know. I know he's not happy with the treaty, but there's so much we could improve, too. This treaty was supposed to bring our two civilizations together, but he feels like it just gives him power over us. He holds it over our heads and makes us beg for what he already promised. It just never ends. Why don't you go your separate ways? If only it were that easy. The funds the balloons provide have been used to improve the Amp homeworld. Our economy has come too, and at least in part, rely on the balloons' contributions. If the balloons were to abandon our treaty, the industries they fund would collapse. It would be disastrous. What are you talking about? So you're just using them. I, I have no sympathy for either of these two people. This is pathetic on both ends. I have a plan that might force him to honor his word. I'm not helping her with this. <laughs> I I like watching, I like watching the balloon guy get angry, but I'm not gonna fucking support this. I'm gonna fucking, I'm activating maximum power bureaucrat mode. We're gonna stop them in their tracks, chat. We're gonna slow them down. <laughs> We're gonna bump their brakes real bad. Oh yeah. You're gonna need a, a Form 49-C for this one. Oh yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Will you help me? Mm, it depends on your plan. I'm gonna give them lots of non-answers. Okay, that's fair. In that case, let me make sure everything's ready before we go further. Let's meet tomorrow morning then. Perfect, I'll see you then. Thank you, Judge. <laughs> but tomorrow morning, but tomorrow morning, chat, they will only find a pile of forms on the desk. <laughs> 5 p.m., another day down. Hello? If this is Balloon Guy, I'm gonna scream. Uh -huh. Hello? Judge? Judge, oh, I'm so glad this number worked. I've been calling all over. No, 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 no! <laughs> Not you. I've run into an issue that I just, that just couldn't wait. The season finale of Friends Reawakened is starting. And I can't find the remote. Just use the channel buttons on the monitor. But it's so far away. Can you come down and do it?
I might say yes because I gotta know. I have to see it, chat. I gotta see it for myself. I must. It's gonna kill me, but I must. Fine. Wonderful! I'll leave the embassy door cracked. And while you're down here, there's a few other matters that could use your attention. There are some items that need to be picked up from the launderers, dishes that desperately need doing. What have I done? What have I done? Wednesday. Hello, Judge. I told you I would come up with a plan. So here it is. Just so you know, I'm only doing this because he forced my hand. His threats are getting worse. His scheming is more thought out. And his plans are getting sneakier. I believe if something isn't done to stop him, he'll eventually find a loophole that sticks for the long-term security of my people. I believe he must be taught a lesson. So because he tried to steal half our planet, I believe he should lose his half. <laughs> the full planet should go to the Emps. That's as wrong as what he wants. Then... If one of us has me wrong, who would you rather it be? This is the same application that Balloon submitted. I just swapped out the Form 1A7 list of applying entities with a version listing the Emps as the applicant. It would be all it would all be legal. Epsilon 5 is already void of life. The acknowledgement of conquest is well, just legal dibs. This is a complete application. Everything's ready. Will you sign it? Uh I will help you enforce your existing treaty, but no more, is what I would say. No, I don't think I'm going to do this. But I also don't want Red Guy to be happy. So I think I stay completely neutral and follow the rules. Okay, because I don't want Red Guy to ever be happy. I want to see him explode. I feel like if I push him hard enough, he'll blow up. So I want to keep him... I want to keep these two in legal deadlock until the end of their days. Okay. So we're gonna keep on fucking, we're gonna keep on leaving this right in the middle forever, <laughs> okay? I'll help you enforce the treaty, but nothing more. He won't learn anything that way. I'm worried that just won't be enough, but I understand. It was a lot of me to ask. If this is how you want to handle things, I respect your decision. Thank you for hearing me out in any case. I'll let you get back to your business. <laughs> Hello, Woodroom Chief. Pork, sorry, Pork make mistake last time. So Pork give gifts to make up. Ah! Help me. Help. <laughs> oh no. Pork forgot. Ground for ground food all gone. So Pork think maybe if Woodroom Chief tried tasty blue fruit, Woodroom Chief let Pork keep eat. Water. Water. It's like a cat bringing a mouse to their owner's door. Master, behold what I have made. Behold my conquest. Look, look and and and, and feast on the flesh I have captured. What mean no ground? This guy is gonna be fine. They'll last a while. What mean no ground? I have a child. Big water come in, eat all ground. Uh, thank Pork. Woodroom Chief take now. Pork knew Woodroom Chief would like me gonna hang on, me gonna save this guy over here. I'm not letting him take him back. That guy's gonna die if I let Pork take him back. Enjoy blue food tummy massage. So, first time in space court? Please don't eat me. Please. All right, you water this. I got it. Spoils of war. Long story. You need that disposed of, just say so. We offer discounts to politicians. Still alive! That'll cost extra. I'm good. So yourself. Anyway, here it is. This is a Form 1A7? Yes. So we can finally 
get this settled. I've decided neither of you have convinced me. Are you serious? <laughs> I've decided that I will see you both in bureaucrat hell. You motherfuckers. Yes, that is right. I have decided I will not even make a decision. <laughs> I did exactly what you asked. What more could you possibly want? I don't know. I think I still need more time to think about it. You're not paid to think. You're paid to judge. And you're going to do that if I have to lock these halls with you in them until you do! Enough of this! I'm gonna get the ambassador up here, and then neither of you are leaving until this is settled! Don't move! <laughs> Good afternoon, Judge. What is it you want? Mama! This is why I called you in. Is that you, my son? E son! My, you've got it so blurry since I last saw you. Mama, get in the tank! The tank is very far. It's so far away. I would rather be put in the tank. You must get in the tank, Mama! Even if the tank is very far. You have been put out, you've been out of the tank for too long! Bring the tank closer at least. I would rather you get in the tank without me having to move closer. Is this how I taught you to treat your elders? My son. Fine, I will get in the tank. Ah, the things I do for you. Thank you, Mama. Why was my mama air breathing in a cage in your court? Those nasty green creatures took me and offered me to this man to eat. And you took her? Well, I mean, she was a gift. <laughs> she was a gift. What do you want me to do? Decline? She was a gift. No, if I thought I, I thought if I told the pork chief to return her himself, he might eat her. Yeah, that sounds about right. That was the that was my thought process as well. Was that if I let him take it back, he's just gonna eat her immediately. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh. In that case, on behalf of me and my mama, I thank you. Well then, is that all? If so, mama needs to be resettled. Not quite. I also want to discuss the pork situation a little more. What is there to discuss about those mama eaters? I suggested they try growing their own food that isn't you, but the pork chief seemed to think that wasn't possible. Grow food? On what land? Yeah? You really don't know anything about this sector, do you? He mentioned something about big water? Oh, it doesn't just start there. Their planet used to be a tundra, some land, but mostly ice. The ground underneath was old and untapped, rich with hydrocarbons. Somehow they figured out what they are, how to find them, and how to burn them. Bad idea for an ice planet. The tundra's all melted. Nearly their entire planet is underwater now. The coolest, freshest glacier water you've ever felt. Is that why you guys keep swimming in it? It's so good, baby. Anyway, thanks again for not letting my mama get eaten, or eating her yourself. Don't mention it. We'll be on our way. Uh, it was nice to meet you, Mama. Mama? Huh? What? Nothing. Sorry. You two should go now. Toodles! Judge! <laughs> We've been having a little chat, Judge! And we figured we'd bring you in on it! No, oh, no. Oh no. No! There's not a lot we agree on, but there is one thing. Hang on, I gotta hang on. Hang on, hold up. Okay, sorry. 
this! Okay. Just telling my family to put my food in the fridge because it is here. There's not a lot we agree on, but there is one thing. We need an answer. Apparently, we haven't all been on the same page. It would be nice to know where things stand exactly. So any final questions, comments, or concerns, get them out now. Give me your best argument, Commander. Besides, I earned it? How about this? Us bloons have followed the rules and more for years. No matter how much they hurt us, we keep doing things right. But we ask for one more thing, one thing back, just one thing, and it's too much. We put more into this court and get less out of it than anyone. That's just not fair, is it? Why not balance the scales a little bit, Ambassador? First, I would like to say something to the commander. You may know, but earlier this morning, I came to the judge looking to gain control of the entirety of Epsilon 5. What? I know, I wanted to tell you so I could say I'm sorry. I've reconsidered my actions since then. I understand this whole experience is stressful for you. Looking back, I don't think adding on more stress was the right way to handle it. So for that, I am truly sorry. <laughs> I'm also retracting that request from the court. I would like the original treaty to be honored and nothing more. I still believe our existing treaty is fair, and I simply can't accept less. But I want to, pr I want to promise that if the existing treaty holds, I won't ever try to overstep in that way ever again. Not enough. Not even close. I'll accept the full planet and nothing less. So what is it, Judge? Who are you with? Fuck, I can't give him a middle man. I can't go in the middle. God damn it. I'll have to think about this for 30 to 40 real world minutes while we get snacks. Huh. Chat, if I give it to the balloons, okay, they will be happy. And then my chance, to, my desire to see him actually explode his guts everywhere will be gone. But the M's suck, I know. But it's not my job to decide, chat, look. It's not, I'm a judge, okay? But that, th that treaty is legal, okay? That is legal scripture, okay? I'm just here. I'm just here to do whatever the hell I want, okay? Go with the balloons, go with the balloons, balloons. How, all right, chat, we'll do it like this. All right, fine, we'll straw pull it. We'll straw poll it. We'll bring in the we'll bring in the community. I'm I'm opening this courtroom to all of you. What do balloon imp go 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 the legal system the legal system has now been taken over by the populace. Go 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 go. You have but a moment. Hey, that's a good, uh, that's a good 50-50 you guys got there. <laughs> you know what that means? You know what that means? That means an equal 50-50 split, baby! <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Whew. She trusts me. Thank you, Judge. No! Not happening! I'm tired of these courts thinking they can do whatever they want, whatever they want! You think you can push around the blue empire? You think you can just beat me down over and over again and not have to fight back? I've spent cycles trying to make this work, to do things the right way! I pay my taxes, I follow your stupid rules of engagement, I wait through this incompetent bureaucracy, and for what? This? Not anymore! If we can't solve this, the right way, I'm gonna solve it my way. <laughs> He's starting to lisp. The night is getting fire in the galaxy way. War, Commander. Ah, uh, if you attack a treaty partner, partner, I'm afraid peacekeeping forces will mobilize against you. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna have to stop you right there. Time to take you down a couple of pegs. I will summon the UN. <laughs> In a few years, maybe. 
After the eyes are dotted, the signatures are retrieved. Whoops, someone wrote in the place that says do not write, so start it all over. But you'll be wiped out well before then. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna take back everything you've taken from me. And then, I'm gonna take everything else. Now, if you two will excuse me, I have a war to win. I'm at a loss for words. Hey, we'll protect you. I I'm sorry, I'm not actually gonna take any risks. But hey, you know what, honestly, dude, time for me to do what the government would do. Not my problem. Hey, 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 not my problem. I'm sorry, shouldn't have, should have pushed him. It's not, but I'm not getting involved. I'm not getting involved. All right, I ain't coming anywhere near this with a 40 foot pole. War? Yeah, I'm a judge. All right, uh uh. If it wasn't for you, it wasn't you. All these threats were directed at me. I saw him getting pushed to his limit, but I never expected this. I wish we never signed this treaty. I just don't know what to do. The commander controls most of the galaxy and it has it all feeding into his war machine. Even if peacekeeping forces did get approved, I don't know if they'd win. I'm sorry, I have to go inform our homeworld at once. Please, if you come up with anything, let me know. Eh, probably not. Very preoccupied with the, um... Oh, I forgot you exist. <laughs> Handshake packet sent! Can I help you? Ow! The packet just hit me. You can judge yourself as well. Inquiry, have your feelings on organics changed since we first spoke? There's nothing I can't fix, baby. But you have peeked beyond the veil. You have seen the nature of organics. Bickering and strife, we can offer assistance. The time draws near, near for making decisions, for shaping the world as you see fit. Our emissary is approaching. You will meet them soon. Uh, very well, I look forward to meeting them. Ecstatic acknowledgement. For now, we pass along a simple instruction. If you want your issues with, ex with organics to be solved permanently, let them pass. Yeah, brother. Ooh, yeah, brother. Yeah. Robo Randy, brother. Judge, wonderful to see you again. I hope you've been adjusting well. Weren't you supposed to be che checking up on me or advising? Ah, uh, you know how it goes. Just wanted to let you know. We maybe have a teeny bit of a developing situation. What's going on? That's eh, a little bit gray. For now, don't worry. I'll keep you in the loop, but for now... Just continue on with your duties like everything is normal. Maybe let your loved ones know you love them. Toodles. Oh. Good morning, Judge. May I ask why you called? Have you made any progress on the dead bug in the lunchroom light I space mailed you about? We're waiting on someone else before we get into everything. Who are we? Oh no. <laughs> Hello, Woodroom Chief! Hello, food. Why? What could this possibly accomplish? Think, pork cum. Stay, please. Now, long talk. <clears throat> what? Ha ha! Food dumb! <laughs> You're dumb! If not fixed problem, pork go hungry. Pork understand! Thank for help, pork. Pork listen to Woodroom Chief. Well, we're fine. What? This isn't something you really need to be concerned with. We can handle this ourselves. Is something wrong? You're acting strange. Me? You're the one with the weird fixation on this. Besides, being eaten isn't even that bad. Uh-huh. Look, I'll show you. Pork, nibble on me. Pork not hungry. Just a teeny bite just to show the judge this is all very silly. Pork, do not nibble. But, but you see my point. We're continuing. Pork first, how bad food problem? Food great, more food swim every day. Not blue food, other food. Oh, no other food. Big water, eat first. 
How big, big water? Big water, big! Eat almost all cold ground. No other food in big water besides blue food? Not that pork, see? Judge, ice planet. There were no oceans for life to live in before this. All frozen. Again, there are many more productive ways you could be spending this morning than trying to get answers from these guys. Pork have carbon plants? <laughs> Boring. Do they have carbon plants? What carbon plant? Like flour? See, they don't even want to talk about it. Big buildings make smoke. Burn black goo from ground. Oh! Woodroom, woodroom chief means sniff huts. Yeah, yeah, pork had lots and lots before big water eat. Why, woodroom chief ask? What pork use sniff huts for? Nice smells. Such lovingly simple creatures. Why not leave them to their silly habits? What are you up to? I don't fucking trust blue guy as far as I can throw him anymore. What's he trying to hide? I'm getting to the end of this one. I don't like what he's doing to pork. He's hiding something. I'm betting they terraformed his fucking planet. I'm betting they made it this way. And that's why they're all swimming in it now. How pork discover them? Judge, really, I insist. I thought you didn't want to talk. Well, I just... Tee-hee. Pork has secret. Pork does not have secret. It okay, food. Woodroom chief nice, we can tell. Other pork think pork chief makes sniff huts. That's why they make porf, pork chief pork chief. Of course they did, because pork chief is very smart. Yes, you're very, very smart, aren't you? Only the smartest pork could come up with that all by himself. Thank food. But pork chief tell woodroom chief secret. It not pork chief. Pork chief make trick. Woodroom chief guess who did? But why would the flopes do that? What? Us? Who said it was the flopes? It was the flopes. <gasps> Gasp. <laughs> How could you do this to them? Oh, for well, I'm sorry. What would you what would you do if you had all that amazing glacier water just sitting there waiting to be melted? Pretty sure I wouldn't terraform another species planet. What friends talking about? Blue food make trick. Sniffle huts caused by big water. N no, they're not true. Sniffle huts can't cause big water. They just for smells. With lots of cold ground, they actually could. W Woodroom chief not supposed to tell fibs. And I know it fit because, because blue food says Flopes! It's Flopes! We're called Flopes! Not Blue Food, not Tummy Ticklers, not Grouchy Bobs, not Belly Hoppers, or Shiny Whinies. F-L-O-A-P-S! Flopes! How can you not understand that, you stupid, worthless, giant oaf? Stop it! That's enough. Can't even keep one lousy secret. All you had to do was keep your mouth shut and you'd be pork chief forever, but no! Even that can't get through all the fur in your brain. To me, what pork ever do to you besides trying to eat your friends and family? Order! And don't get me started on that planet of yours. You know how much water we have on our home world? A lake. Oh, sure, we call it the Royal Sea, but it's not. It's a lake. Do you have any idea what it's like trying to fit an entire civilization in a lake? And then see you with a whole planet full of snow and ice, and all you do is poop in it like a big, stupid, gross baby. Stop it. All right, easy there, big guy. Blue food, fib. Blue food, not pork, friend. Blue food made big water come in. Well, what's the big baby gonna do about it? Go where, where, where? Are you stupid? Pork, not big baby. Yes, you are a big baby because you only big babies go where, where, where? You big stupid baby. I'm gonna die. We're gonna die. Blue food bag. Blue food mean, blue food fit, blue food trick. But pork make trick on you too. 
blue food not even tastes that good. That's right. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Pork just say you taste good because you were friend. <laughs> <laughs> The truth finally comes out, but ground food was better. <laughs> Blue food out of pork, big water now, or pork pull blue food out and pork have biggest feast ever. What are you going to do to fix this? You guys are just the worst. You sure you don't have anything more important for me to do? Here we go, dude. <laughs> Here we fucking go. Let's get him with the fucking high tier passive aggressive bullshit. This is a high enough concentration of passive aggressiveness to kill an elephant chat, all right? This is enough to stop someone's heart. Well, since you asked, well, fine, I'll work on this. Just get out of here and let me think. Wonderful. You're my favorite active judge, you know that? How did he fucking turn that on me? How'd he do that? Out! And out I go! Ta-ta! <laughs> Hello, Judge. I know by now you're probably tired of hearing from me. I'm sorry, I just don't know where else to turn. The Commander is amassing all of his forces over the galaxy. I've spoken with him, he's serious. He's going to launch an invasion against our homeworld soon. You're the only one that has a chance of stopping him, please. Uh, what can I do? <laughs> you know, what can I do? I'm not saying that as a, what can I do? I'm saying that as a, what can I do? You know what I'm saying? It's too late. You know? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not really even sure why I'm here. I guess I'm just hoping you can work some magic. Uh... Do you have any other allies? The treaty we had with the balloons was an exclusive pact, idiots. We're alone. We just have the court. I just don't know what to do. I, I need to get back. If you believe in miracles, we need one now. Eh, I'm sort of busy. Um, okay, so there have been some developments. I have my hands full right now. Is this my problem or your problem? Uh, little column A, little column B. But as a judge, it's going to come down to you. Okie doke, so early this morning, we received a report of weapons of mass destruction being present on board. Like, right here, right now. Yep, yep, all the above. Uh, well, uh, looked into it, and, uh, they are in fact weapons of mass destruction that could vaporize us at any moment. But they haven't done anything wrong yet, so we can't just arrest them. What is this, Space Station 13? Ha, huh, well, you haven't done anything wrong yet, you disgusting monster, so we can't arrest you. Go on now. Be gone. Don't let me catch you doing anything illegal out of my purview. You're not arresting them. You're, you're confiscating them. Oh yeah, I skipped that part. They're sentient. All of them. Super self-aware. That means they have rights. Why are there self-aware bombs in my space court? I mean, probably the robots, right? They do this kind of stuff. Look, I'm not saying it's not a loophole, but it's what we're dealing with. Also, they're really nice. I think a lot of us would feel bad. Well, advise me. Certainly, one wishes to speak with you, and I took the liberty of making an appointment. Wait, you can come in now, sweetie. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. My name is Melissa. Please be careful, Judge. She arms if you say, Melissa, begin countdown. Beginning countdown! Ten! Nine! Uh, Melissa, stop countdown! Eight! Seven! S uh, it's in the manual someplace. Please stop! Abort! Abort! Bad Melissa! Six! Five! Uh, bad Melissa! Four! Three! Hey! Hey! Abort! Two! One! Pause? Pause and countdown. Found it. Well, don't you dare leave me here. Ah, <coughs> uh, looks like I'm, I'm coming down with a cold. I'll be making some of my emer I'll be taking some of my emergency sick days now. 
If you need me, I'll be off world. Don't need me. All right. <clears throat> so, I love you. Kidding. What are you? I'm Melissa. No, I mean, what are you? Just a fun loving spirit who wants to see the galaxy. Why? I don't know. I was just really, 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 really like to go to other planets, please. If we could go anywhere in the galaxy, where would you send us? Actually, there is somewhere you could go. Oh my gosh, where? <laughs> oh, baby, you knew I was gonna do it, baby! Enjoy your lake, you fucking asses! Awesome! We'd love to go! We're going to get along great! Anywhere else? There sure is! <gasps> Where? The entire Balloon Empire! <gasps> I know that one! So many squeaky balls and tickle lasers! Amazing! Anywhere else? There sure is! Where? The Emp Homeworld! Oh, so cultured! Best judge ever! Anywhere else? There sure is! <gasps> Where? The robot homeworld. Silly, that's where we come from. I want to go somewhere new. Anywhere else? No, that's it then. Wow, it's just going to be me and the porks, dude. They're the only ones I like. <laughs> only pork. Only pork and me. Wow, so exciting. My friends are going to be so happy. The robots told me all ex organics deserve to have their bodily fluids boil out through their orifices, causing agony that makes them beg for darkness. But you're pretty cool. Oh, I'm so happy. I could explode. Don't. Okay. Oh, I gotta go tell everyone the good news. Bye. We have analyzed your actions and consider your progress so far acceptable. Inquiry, why the floats? They're just the worst. You believe some organic life to be worse than others. Intriguing, they are the worst. You've risked a conflict with the most powerful organic empire in the galaxy. Inquiry, why? Ah, uh, I've had enough of their insolence. Hate, hate. Let it course through your meat circuits, brother! <laughs> Many organics before you have found the imps titillating. Inquiry, why hasn't this worked on you? They seem manipulative. Reminder, consolation into a hive mind eliminates possibility of deception. Digestible input for internal processing. Your cooperation is acknowledged and logged, independent of your reasons. Our mutual associates will be ready within a day. Glory arrives tomorrow. May your sleep mode be undisturbed by boot processes. Brother. Well, Friday, ladies and gentlemen, almost got my almost weekend, baby. Almost weekend. Almost a weekend, baby. Wakey, wakey, Judge. I'm afraid we have some issues to discuss. I don't doubt it. A doorman required two requests to open the door for me on my way down here. I'm not saying he should be fired, but I believe you should at least put out a request for CVs. The porks have started crowding us into pens in preparation for a massive feast. And we've just received word our homeworld is being targeted by hyper-energetic bombs. Do you know anything about this? Yeah, uh, Tony's wife had food poisoning. He's probably just distracted today. 
Well, that's hardly an excuse for unprofessionalism. Judge? Oh, good morning, Ambassador. Do you have an appointment? I've come to speak with you because I've heard reports that can't possibly be true. Are we being targeted by bombs? That only drops her down to liking me. Uh... Yes, but I have a plan. I have a plan. Really? Yes. We're back in, baby. I can't imagine what your plan is, but I'll trust you for the moment. Dude, she thinks she's the manipulative one, dude. I just fucking, I had a, I have a plan to her. I just dutched her, dude. Or I have a plan. You just have to believe me, Arthur. Arthur. Things are gonna look up, Arthur. You just have to, you just have to have a little bit of faith. Is the plan getting fired? Can't be fired if there's no one alive to fire me. Aside from pork. Excuse me, Ambassador. Respectfully, I was here first. Hey, buddy, old pal. I had a fantastic night's sleep. How about you? Oh, Ambassador, I'm excited to see you here. Please don't mind me. I heard there was a fireworks show starting. I wanted to get a better view. He's bombing you too, idiot. What? <laughs> That's right. You all doubted me. You all pushed my buttons around. You all act like you can walk all over me. I'm in control of the court. I am the law. Header greetings, re everyone. Oh no, not this guy. Observation! The prey have gathered together. The planet razors remain on site awaiting your command, Judge! Of course this was your idea. Is this another one of your tin can tricks? I thought you lot couldn't build bombs. We assure you, the good commander, that our actions are entirely legal. Judge, what is going on? Everyone pay attention. The future of your civilizations may depend on it. Now, now, let's all remain calm. Dude, these three are the troublemakers. They've been causing all the problems for me. I'm gonna fucking strong arm all of them into behaving from now on. I ain't gonna have any more bullshit in my court. Threatening them with uh, thermonuclear detonation is a pretty good fucking card to play, you know? This is how, this is how you judge, exactly. This is how you fucking do it. The <laughs> Supreme Court of Nukes. I'm sure there's a perfectly good explanation for all of it. Hello! This good time? Oh. What fake friend doing here? I have an appointment. What is Big Smelly Baby doing here? Not smelly! I hate to interrupt, but... Oh, oh! Blue Food Feast about to begin! Pork see if Woodroom Chief won't come join. But since he's here, maybe fake friend can come too if he wants. He does not want. Fine! Will everyone please calm down? That would be easier. That'd be easier if we weren't being bummed! Excuse me, I've held my tongue, but I have to ask. Do the rest of you have appointments? Because if not, it's starting to get a little crowded. Analysis section 27318B of the official Galactic Codex says no appointment is required in times of galactic crisis. If you've got a problem with me skipping in the line, why don't you come tell it to my war machine? Ugh. For one day, could you just not? What's your problem this time? But surely, one who does have an appointment should still retain priority, yes? I want to take your appointment and... Quiet! Whoa, Pork. Wood Court, I, don't, I, I accidentally skipped what he said, but I think he said something nice to me, which is uh, so characteristic of Pork. The only one I like in this entire place. Thank you, Pork. Now, I understand you all have issues. Yes. But we're only going to be able to work on this one at a time. Pork, what's going on, my boy? You're up, Chief. Dude, we're buds. Everyone else is so jealous of me and Pork, dude. Come on. Yo, Pork, get up over here. Come on. Pork want room, room, wood room Chief to have invite to Blue Food Feast. Pork, give big honor seat. But only if wood room Chief want to. Excuse me, Judge. Thank you. About the doorman. Let's focus on the bombs and cannibalism for now. Oh, fine. Then, can you start by explaining where exactly do you get off? <laughs> <laughs> We're being eaten on our second planet and your solution is to bomb us on our first. Something simply must change. 
Ah, my judgment's final. I've given you more than enough chances. You suck. Prepare to die. It's time to pay the pipe. pipe. But, Judge, you've whined enough. The flopes will be destroyed. Genocide. Then maybe we'll, I'll finally get some peace. Serves food right. Well, that just won't do. This is my final ruling. On to the next matter. About time. All right, what's going on? You may proceed, Commander. Of all the dirty, how long have you been hiding these? You've been here a week. Respect for the hustle, my bro. But still, I'd like to speak. I just don't understand. I thought you understood our side. If we're really at your mercy, please tell us what you want. Total global saturation. And by total global saturation, I mean annihilation. And instead of global, I mean galactic. The only way for all of you to be happy is if you're all dead. Aside from pork, pork is cool. I want death. Chat, what do you guys think? Final, or do we give them one last chance to find a compromise? Because I don't trust any of these people. Balloon Boy, never gonna change. Uh, Imps, basically parasites, never gonna change. Final judgment is death! At this point, there's nothing you can say that would change my mind. You think you can just... I can do whatever I want. I'm the law. The balloons and the amps will both be destroyed. Don't ever fuck with me. I'm the law. Bada bingus. No! What? Yes. Scheduled reminder! Our guests grow impatient. Let's recap. Porks and flopes. I told you my judgment was final. The flopes will be destroyed. Um... Is it too late to talk about this? Flop not want bomb friends? Suggestion, there are bomb friends enough to go around. Moving on. Bloons and Emps, I told you my judgment was final. Both of you will be destroyed. Complete mutual destruction. Simulated pleasure centers overstimulated. <laughs> You're a tyrant, a monster. I can't believe Anyone could be so cruel. Keep in mind, she still trusts me according to her moral uh, compass. Meaning, even after all this, I might still be in chat. You gotta play hard to get, and the most hardest play you can get is uh, total annihilation of her whole uh, species and race. So, bada bingus. I'm playing the game right. Everything else wasn't enough! Now you're fighting dirty too! You're no buddy of mine! Moving on. Okay. Do it. <laughs> Holy shit. Are we the baddies? Chat. Woo! Yeah! Yay! There it goes. Fuck you. Goodbye. Bada bingus. You're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> TV. Art! I got drafted! I'm not even a real judge, you stupid idiots! I'm crazy! I'm crazy! My... My empire! You really did it! How could you? How could anyone? How... Worst judge ever. Whoa, pretty. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> if you <laughs> If you'll excuse me. They can't all be gone. They can't be. I failed everyone and now I have nothing more to say. Don't feel bad, chat. They're all using us. Pork's the only one on our back, chat. He's the only one that gets us. Do you understand? Don't feel bad for anyone here. They all brought this on themselves. Every single one of them brought this on themselves. Not a single person that I blew up did not deserve exactly what they got. All right? I have... 
Only one last request. I just got the, back the photos from my latest family vacation, but everyone I try to show seems to be too busy. So this was our hotel. Uh, this was our wonderful guide. He says he's doing this for his for 30 cycles, but he can't possibly be 50, right, Judge? <laughs> really? What do I have to write to get some good help around here? So, how you doing, Pork? Wow! Where'd everybody go? Pork stopped paying attention. They have departed! Oh, should Pork go too? We would appreciate it. Okay. Have a good weekend. See you on Monday, <clears throat> Pork. You did well, Judge. For an organic... <laughs> yes, well... <laughs> uh, yes, well, until we meet again, Monday. Great work this week. <laughs> I destroyed entire civilizations. Am I going to be in trouble? Ah, uh, don't be so dramatic. I'm sure there were some shuttles in orbit and the occasional moon base. So how do you feel? Like God. Oh, okay. The Flobes needed something to complain about, so I gave them something. I never trusted the Emps, and now I don't have to. And getting to pop the balloon's ego gave me joy you can't imagine. Because I'm not just the judge. I'm the jury and the executioner. Please don't fire me. And maybe now I can finally enjoy some peace and quiet. Well, it's important to find joy in your work. 5 p.m.? Oh, thank goodness. Enjoy your weekend. I'm getting a call. Don't you fucking... Answer. Yeah, no, let's see. Hello? Hello, hi. Does this phone still work? Judge! What a relief to reach you. <clears throat> you would not believe the trouble there's been since we last spoke. Mama is planning 800,000 funerals, and she's starting to get frenetic. The bombs went off in the middle of Splash Bowl, and now I'll never know who would have been the champion. And most disturbing of all, you have still done nothing about the Welcome Center's decor. An entire week has passed. What have you been doing? I must know what progress you've made on our other complaints. I've got a list right here. How long do you have? I don't know. Space Court, ladies and gentlemen. That was awesome. That was great. And it's definitely got replayability if anyone's interested in trying it out for themselves. I don't know how, I can't remember how much it was, but uh, it was awesome. A good time, a good time. Both these games are fucking fun as fuck. Thanks for watching, chat. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, it's very kind of you. I will be back tomorrow. Unless my throat's really crusty. My throat's feeling really crusty today, chat. It might have something to do with the fucking constant voices I had to do all stream today. So, um, there might be a chance I end up having to take tomorrow off. If that happens, Space Station 13 will be on Saturday instead, okay? Space Station 13 is the next stream regardless. It's just whether or not it's tomorrow or Saturday, okay? It's just if my voice is like really crusty because Robot Boy, Pork didn't do it, uh, Robo Randy Savage, or whatever the fuck that voice was, was easily just fucking tore like through my throat really badly but I was too deep in I couldn't stop it I couldn't stop it <laughs>